You want your lawn to live long and prosper, but then one day, expecting to step out into your beautiful lawn, you find yourself transported to a strange new world. Your lawn is a swamp, and you've got a broken pipe. Our mission today is to fix a pipe using a PVC compression coupling and bring new life to this mess I've got here. I'm Alfred Castillo, the Sprinkler Warehouse Pro. Let's get started. Compression couplings are a great choice for a quick fix on a broken pipe. It requires no cement or solvents and can fix that pipe at warp speed. And if you find yourself in a really sticky situation where you absolutely have to make a repair where the pipe is underwater or there's still a little water running through the pipe, the compression coupling is a good way to go. Repairing a submerged pipe is not the best idea, but if you find yourself without options, it's possible. This fitting can also be removed and reused. The compression coupling I'm using today is a CPC 1000. It's rated for 150 PSI static pressure at 72 degrees Fahrenheit, which means you could use this fitting before the valve in your irrigation system. The compression coupling is a really bad idea for any pipe that's going to experience any movement. Under those circumstances, it will definitely leak. Also, being PVC, you don't want to use this for a situation in which it will be exposed to sunlight as it will degrade. So, let's repair a broken pipe. For this job, we're going to need a pipe cutter or hacksaw, a compression coupling, the same size as the pipe we're working on. In this case, we're repairing a one inch diameter pipe, so we have to use a one inch coupling. Obviously, you'll need to locate the break in your pipe and dig down to it and a little under it. You won't need a really deep space under it. It's just enough to work. To begin, I'm going to cut out a section of large enough pipe to fit in the coupling, but the gap shouldn't exceed the length of the area here between the threads. I'm using a PVC pipe cutter to make this job easier. That's not a great cut, but hey, I'm an irrigation guy, not a surgeon. I'm going to clean off the pipe near the cut. Disassemble your coupling. I'm going to just screw off these nuts here. This fine piece of engineering uses these rubber gaskets to make the seal. First, slip the nuts into the pipe like this. Then put on your rubber gaskets. They really cling onto the pipe. Fit your coupler into the gap and get it seated on the pipe. Screw on the nuts like so. That compresses the gaskets into the pipe, hence the name compression coupling. Logical. Hand tight is fine. You can also put a strap wrench on the nut and give it a half turn, but don't over tighten. It is possible to break them. I'm going to turn on the water and see how we did. I've got my sprinkler system controller set up with a link Wi-Fi module so I can turn it on with the Rainbird mobile app. Giving her all she's got. Looks like we have a little drip here. I'm going to give it another half turn and see how we do. Looks like that did it. When you backfill the hole, it's best to compact the soil around your fitting to help prevent movement and stabilize the fitting. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything for your irrigation needs so your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens are lush and beautiful. And if you have any questions about our products, give us a call or chat with one of our crew at sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the most out of our user-friendly Shop and Compare web store. For Sprinkler Warehouse, I'm Alfred Castillo, your Sprinkler Warehouse Pro.